Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video we are going to explore this hover effect animation for our icons. So when I hover right here you can see this nice looking effect. You can see these icons changing as well as the blobs behind all of these icons. So in this video we are going to explore how can you achieve the same effect for your design. So let's get started. Before we get started with today's tutorial, make sure to check out my membership, link is going to be down in the description below. Membership contains all of my courses, digital design products, private access to the Facebook group and much more. So if you're interested, make sure to check it out. Once again, link is going to be down in the description below. Now let's get started with this video. Okay, so here is the practice file which I mentioned and you are going to get all of these settings and all of these assets when you download the practice file when you join my membership which I mentioned. Once again, link is going to be down at the description below. So first thing you're going to notice are these blobs and I got these blobs from these, this website called blobmaker.app. I simply went ahead and copied this color, so light blue color, and went ahead right here and pasted it in. And then you can play around with all of these settings. You can change how many of these anchor points does your blob have, and you can also round it up. You can get all of these kind of different shapes and you can always click right here and it's going to get you uh, different shapes based on these settings that you set right here. So depending once again on your settings, you can click right here and get all of these blobs. When you're ready, you can click right here and you're going to get an SVG blob, which are all of these. And you can see we have blob one, two and three, which are these blobs behind all of our icons. And this is just a blob four, which I switched the positions here and here just to make it more interesting uh, to the viewer. So uh, as you might imagine, this can be a section of a website with features or with some goals, for example, for a fitness website or something like that. So that's why these blobs are really useful. And you're going to see in just a second, we're going to play around with all of these uh, different shapes. For the icons, I use these icons. These are from UI8. I'm going to link them down below. Uh, they are premium icons, but of course, if you don't want to use these, you can find uh, free icons, but I really recommend premium icons because you can see how many of them you get in the pack and of course, how versatile they are and they are really easy to um, play around with and get started and change all of these settings. Now, in terms of our setup, what we have uh, right here is we have 1920 by 1080 artboard with a fill color. This is our fill color that we have right here. We also have 12 different columns, uh, gutter width is 64, column width 78 and margins are 140 on each side. If we take you back right here inside, what we have are these three cards. So I'm not going to redesign all of them. I just want to uh, quickly run through because they are really quite easy to set up. What we have are these three cards, which are a feature BG. So once again, this is a feature of a website, for example, that's why it's called future background. So what we have on it is a drop shadow of this color, which is this nice blue color. And we have X uh, axis is 10, Y axis is the same and blur is 50. And we have opacity at 10% because I don't want it to be too distracting. Then what we have is this text. So just some plain old text and we have uh, not a sense and we have pop-ins. Both of them are free Google font. You can find them. Then we have our blob right here and I created a component just so I can drag and drop it in place if I need to, because uh, I think that this is a good size. And because once again, when you download uh, download it from this website, it's an SVG file. So you're not going to have any trouble with scaling it up and down. It's not going to lose its quality. And once again, because it's an SVG, you can come right here double click and you're going to get all of these anchor points and you can play around with them however you want. So that's our blob. And finally, we have bottle uh, icon and I have for all three icons, I have default states and I have showcase states. Now default uh, state for this bottle, for example, is this one. So if I take you inside, you can see that we have a lines mask and this mask is basically just hiding these icons. So in this default state, uh, these lines are going to stay out of sight. 
and if I take it to the showcase state, you can see that a bottle is flipped on a side a little bit, which is how it originally came from. So I'm going to show you that this is our bottle. So you can see this is the uh, original uh, icon, how it looked like. I just added this quick mask so I can hide these lines on the side. So they are not visible in our default state if I take you right here. So basically that's it. We have default state and we have a showcase state and let me take you back to this icon. So what we have right here, I didn't really change anything. I just use these lines and simply push them inwards and I use these arrows, push them inwards and just simply uh, move this tip and this tip inwards a little bit and flip this line just a touch. So you can see when I switch between my states, what I've done for this icon. And finally for this third icon, I went ahead and did just a little bit more so once again we have all of these and I went ahead and named some of these layers and you can go ahead and name all of them if you want to but I just named a few of them so there is a quite a few things going on right here first of all in a default state this is how it looks like but in a showcase state you can see these lines on the left and on the right on the default state you don't see them also these four lines right here five sorry are going to rotate so just pay attention around the star you can see how it rotates. Also the star, I went ahead and connected some of these lines. So when I click right here, you can see them connected and disconnected for the default state. And finally, I went ahead and increased the white spacing inside of the star just a little bit to make it pop just a little bit. Now that all of these are uh, positioned and all of these are ready, you can see that they have the same spacing for the text. They have the same positioning for the icons, so they are in the center right here. You can see there is the same distance between our text and the bottom of our card. A similar space uh, between the top of our icon and the top of our card, for example. So this uh, setup is exactly the same for all of these cards. Basically, the only thing which you need to pay attention to is how you set up your icons. Then what I did is I used everything inside. So bottle, blob, text and feature BG and created a component. I did the same for this one and this one. So you can see feature one, two and three. And what I done is added hover effects. So for this first one, what I did is on the hover, this is going to happen. So you can see that if I select my bottle icon, I chosen the showcase and I also went inside for the blob, double clicked on some of these anchor points and simply move them around a little bit. So if I switch, just pay attention to the blob. If I switch between the default and a hover, hover one, you can see some changes inside just so that I can add a bit more visual interest to it. For this one, it's exactly the same. So blob is changing and the icon is changing uh, its state. And finally, for this one, exactly the same. Once again, blob and icon are making these changes. Now, finally, for the animation itself, what I've done is if I select it, go to the prototype. You can see for the hover, I selected hover. Type is auto animate. Destination is hover, but easing is snap because I want to be able to see this icon snapping into position and I want duration to be a little bit longer than usual because they are giving you by default 0.3 I think. I chosen 0.6 because I think it's going to give you enough room to breathe for your animation and it's going to be just a little bit longer than it should so your user can actually recognize what you're trying to tell them and give them a bit more visual interest to your animation. I did that for all of them so you can see snap and 0.6 for all of them so when we hit preview one more time when I hover you can see how it looks like if you think it's too fast you can always go back to these changes which I showed you and adjust this to one second two seconds however you want but just make sure to understand when you hover on top of your card and then hover out make sure to understand that longer your hover is on hover longer it's going to be when you move your mouse out so if you set this to be two seconds in it might look quite cool but when you move your mouse away it's still going to be two seconds out so just make sure to pay attention to that and you can see how all of them work uh, this in particular is not that different so it's just a, a little different than before but this is quite different because it's rotating this blob is extremely uh, changing in the background and especially this celebrate icon a lot of it is going on right here so 
the more complex your icon is and let me show you the original icon so here they are the more complex your icon is especially with all of these lines for example and I don't know for example you want to put the basketball inside of this basket and move the net a little bit perhaps with all of these uh, payment processing so maybe you want this hand and this card to move from top to bottom make sure to use a mask like I showed you in my first example let me close this in this one make sure to use a mask because it's going to be a, a lot simpler for you to make those changes but just make sure to understand that uh, you don't want to waste too much of your users time with these animations they are there just to give it a bit more visual interest so you can just imagine this one bouncing down for example just a little bit in uh, from the original state to the hover and then all of these lines bouncing outside so you get the idea uh, the more complex your icons are the more creative you are going to be with this uh, with these animations so i really urge you to try it to give it a go if you don't have the money you can always use free icons but if you do i really recommend to use paid icons because once again there is just vastness of choice out there and you can always play around with them and achieve uh, fantastic results every single time especially uh, coherent results when you're working with a website with many pages and you're working inside of your clients branding thank you for watching this video i really hope you found value in it if you did make sure to press that like button i upload new videos every single week right here on the channel about adobe xd design passive income techniques and much more so if you're interested in content like that make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video take care